Juna! Lady Juna! <laughs> Even I'm feeling the heat. Well, I suppose it's time to fan the flames. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to the inauguration of the Tournament for the Throne. For the first time, the crown is anyone's to claim, as long as the aspirants can complete three grueling challenges. Wow, a Sanctus Crier. He's perfect for this. Let's discuss the venues. We kick off in the west, in the Pearl of the Coast, the Principality of Oceana's harbor city capital, Port Brylhaven. There, they face their first challenge, the exhibition of the brave. Each contender must bring back the head of a monster, a mark of their prowess and courage. Next, our would-be monarchs head east. Upon the misty peaks, we arrive in the Principality of Montario's beautiful city of faith, Alterbury Heights. And finally, our heroes make their well-deserved return home to Grand Trad. But first, let's do introductions. It's time to meet those risking their lives for the crown. Closest to the throne, I know him, you know him. It's Sanctism's one and only 78 Sanctifex, his eminence, Forden! Victory to Sanctifex Forden! I claim no great ambition, nor any heated calls to action. All I wish is to restore order for our people and to safeguard our land from the threats beyond. This chaos we face is but one of God's many trials. Let us restore our kingdom's glory together! Moving right along, we come next to His Eminence's champion, the very spear in his hand, the warrior monk captain of the Crown Theocracy, Master Gido. I come before you only in loyal service of His Eminence. I relinquish the throne to him gladly. But those who would seize the crown by force, I will teach you to fear God and to fear me! So much for this being a fair competition. How many horses do the Sanctus have in this race? Still, it's not over by far. The Luis supporters won't take this lying down. What cowardice, Cryer! Where's Count Louise? <laughs> right, all right, settle down! At this time, I can report that Count Luis has not applied to enter the tournament. What? He's not even entering? 
Then what becomes of us? Our entire purpose in this race was to get closer to him. Don't worry. He's definitely paying attention. He's only in second as it is, so we can't afford to ignore this whole production. Sit tight. I'm sure he'll make a move soon. All right, all right. For those Count Luis supporters, you might want to meet our next entrant. A rising socialite, a man of ambition, godless and fearless, the brash young warrior serving Count Luis, Gladell, the Black Hound. Huh. Him? So he was one of Luis's men. The fallen king embraced sanctism and all its holy tenants, and for what? He was nothing before Lord Luis. Look to the sky all you wish. No god can save you! What our country needs is power! Well, it's not quite all the contenders, but let's get on with the introductions. The great liberal merchant, it's Roger War. By war, by conquest, by right, it's Rudolf Krauss. In it more for the gauntlet runners than the throne, it's Lena Caden. Sure to be popular by pledging free drinks for life, it's Loveless O'Shea. Uplifting the beautiful and deposing the hideous, it's Milo Maurizio. Wow, uh, if we lose this, I think the country has some even bigger problems. <sighs> Now, I do believe we have one final candidate. Do we have an Elden boy present? Come on, huh? let's see your face. <laughs> what? An Elder? Disgraceful. Is this the only way you could think to distinguish yourself? <clears throat> by the way, the ride you applied with still hasn't arrived. And, uh, if it doesn't show up by the time the noon bell rings, you're disqualified. All right? Hey! What's going on? That nitwit! What is he doing? <sighs> so, contestants! Are you ready? Huh? What? Last I say! Wait! How'd you behave? A land runner? It's quick! Wait, it's headed right for the... It'll crash! Whoa! <coughs> What the heck is that? Beautiful. So much for a first impression. What the hell? Is it your marble chums? You don't! You nearly brought down the cathedral! Ooh. Have I cared to see you suffer bad enough when Luis did it the first time? That feckless, shameless old fool! Not bad, kid. Guess you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve after all. Right! I'd call that a full roster! Ladies and gentlemen, race across the land! Go! Prove yourself worthy and earn your crown! For the people, for the throne! Let the games begin! We must take to the road! Just a sec. Oh, uh, can you hear me? Uh. Let's 
see. This is amazing! I don't know a thing about gauntlet runners, but even I can tell this is a hell of a craft. I can hardly believe she's ours to drive. You're telling me that! Feels like ages since I've been out on the open road! This girl's been waiting long enough for her time to shine. So this is what you use to talk with the driver? Convenient, that. Look, old fellow, are you really on our side? You realize we don't have funds to pay you. Money? I'm not in this for the money, boy. What I want is a little gusto. What do you think, lad? Isn't this a rush? It is at that. Like riding the wind. That's the ticket. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had a good chin wag. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. You've a good head on your shoulders, boy. Yes. I can tell you're a sharp one. Where to, ladies? The world is our shellfish. <laughs> you certainly are a different person behind the wheel. Hey, Hulkenberg! Can we get an explanation yet? That man is Neurus. An Ishkia, if it was not obvious from the wings. And despite... <laughs> everything, he was heir to a noble house and personal machinist for the royal family. What? He's a master engineer, of course, positively peerless. But as you can see, the runners get him a bit <laughs> excitable. Neoras? Are you there? I'm coming in. Even amidst all this commotion in town, I find you buried in your work. Ah, it's too much to do. As always. To business, then. I must ask a favor. Would you be able to ready a carriage for me? No new commissions. No time for them. Ask another right. It is not the new one I require. Before His Highness disappeared, did you not accept a contract to build him a custom carriage? <laughs> Without a formal owner, I reasoned that it must now lie unused. I was hoping I might borrow it a short while. But, pish and tosh, woman. She is for royal use and naught else. Tis an unreasonable request, I know. But I'd not be asking without a grave need. Might I at least see it? Ah, uh, I mean, well, um... Was specially made for his highness, yes. Not a work you'd have sold off. Where lies it now? I, I deadlines to meet, dash it. Off with you now. Leave me be. You've been acting stranger than usual. What ails you? Whoa! Good God. Let runner, the very craft commissioned for his highness the prince. Even knowing his highness was gone, still you toiled away. Oh, Neuros, you are an inspiration. Such nobility of purpose. Um, yes. <laughs> right. However, for a craft meant for the royal family, it is rather excessive, isn't it? Did you... Really? Built this vehicle exactly to their orders? <laughs> you cannot mean. 
Well, at first, it, certainly, I followed the blueprints exactly. But then His Highness died, and, uh, well, I, I couldn't just let the old girl waste away. A masterpiece like her? Collecting dust in storage? No! Unacceptable! Unthinkable! <laughs> ah. I'm working toward a dream. And this... This poor old girl is going to help me see it through. And then, finally... You imbecile! Poloni, brazen court engineer, butchering His Highness's inheritance for a hobby! For this... Mania! You embezzled the royal treasury and disrespected his legacy! Treason! Ah, ah, mercy, please! Look, take my head if you must, milady, but leave the valley runner alone. Look, this runner... It is fully operational now, is it? Then I suggest you cooperate, for both our sakes. Finish your tinkering by tomorrow and bring it to the Grand Cathedral as soon as you can. Eh? What's all this now? You play the proud soldier at me and then pluck it for your own schemes? It is no scheme. I would use it for His Highness's sake. For His Highness, eh? Hold a tick. Haven't you been looking for him? Wandering across God knows where last I heard. So if you're back now and... And now you want a gauntlet runner for His Highness? Is... Is His Highness still alive? That's it! I've got you, haven't I? Twas His Highness who gave you refuge while you were only a heretical scholar condemned by the Sanctists. The time has come to repay His mercy. Understood. Is that enough? Can this old duck really handle an undercover operation? I know what you're thinking, but tis at least true that he feels an undying debt of gratitude to the royal family. Pish and tosh, boy! A little faith. Not to brag, but this old duck's craft might be the fastest gauntlet runner in the kingdom. Why, probably the world. I think. Maybe. How encouraging. All I want is to push this runner as far and as fast as she can go. Show her off to the world. And you? Well, I presume you'd rather work together than have to walk, eh? I don't know about this, but I guess we'll just have to trust him. What do you think? I think we can count on him. If you're sure, I suppose. We'll deal with it if we have to. Either way, he knows the prince is alive. So we can't just leave him to his own devices. We're all in the same boat. Or runner, I guess. You're not gonna handle the fighting, and I'll handle all the driving and grease work. Just make sure you've got a proper plan for all this mess now. This guy's got no filter. But he has a point. We do need to talk strategy. So, summing up. Our first trial is to slay a monster. We take its head as proof, then get it to the goal line before the deadline. The bigger the head, the better. Our destination is Port Brylehaven, the capital of the Western Principality of Oceana. It'd be a trek on foot, but this gauntlet runner should make it a snap. So getting the bounty's head is our next move. And our target is a nefarious criminal who's been kidnapping and selling off children. Right? A criminal? Did the task not specify a monster's head? Don't worry, all part of the plan. We don't need to win this thing. We just need to get Luis's attention. Everyone's going to show up with monster heads, and we shake things up with a felon. A knight turned kidnapper at that. Shows them we're there for justice. But to deliberately violate the rules, we risk being disqualified entirely. Then again, it is just as likely to win the people's attention and thereby Luis's. I do understand the intent. What do you think of this plan? I think it's a perfect idea. Makes sense, doesn't it? The bounty's Heismate, an ex-knight. I realize that's a little close to home, Hulkenberg, so if you'd rather hang back... No. 
His title is precisely why I cannot let his atrocities stand. And yet, it is strange indeed that we are hunting a mere man when the trial demands a monster. Then again, our true aim is beyond the ambitions of any other aspirant. Our fate rests in this plan of yours, Stroll. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll try to ensure your trust isn't misplaced. to know. We can always look around more thoroughly later. Yes. You needn't tire yourself out before we arrive. Well, I'm a tinkerer and not much else. All my fighting happens in the old workshop. But I'll take you wherever you're going for your sake and mine. After all, the wilds out there are no fairy picnic. Oh, no. It's a den of wild beasts and savage scoundrels. I will not get past it without days on the road together. So... If you need anything besides a steady hand on the wheel, give me a hoop. Bound to find me in the cockpit or the engine room. <laughs> He's certainly an eccentric, but he doesn't seem like a bad person. We'll get used to him, I suppose.
actually. Now we're talking. Uh, what? Then... Sweet! The gauntlet runner arrives at the desert camp as the scorching sun sinks below the horizon and the curtain of night falls over the land. Protected within the stalwart hull of the gauntlet runner, the party gains a short, peaceful respite. No, man. Speaking of. Then... <laughs> 